This was in early February. And this was this week. A much different scene on Greek Row after we first brought you the story about living in Greek life during the pandemic. Just this week, crews finished putting each individual tile on the Bruce Pittman Center behind me, capping off a year's worth of renovation. Can you uh, tell people right now that your guys' service is better than the other local providers we've got right now? Well, I would like to say that, yeah. Well, that's what Luke Bryan has been up to for the past couple of days, but not where you might think. The famous country singer was spotted today in the small town of St. Mary's, not hunting or loving, but fishing. The Wallace School District polled about 120 parents to see if they would send their kids back to school with proper guidelines. 93% said that they would. The intersection of Heartland and Prairie in Coeur d'Alene is filled with good food, espresso, music, and a chicken. Better yet, a chicken playing the violin. That's downtown Wallace, typically a bustling environment. Now, all people hear is the traffic passing by on Interstate 90. It's the same sound residents and business owners have been hearing for close to a year now, and it's made an impact. Uh, there was a company you sent $20,000 to that had the same address as that super PAC strength and progress. We're just wondering where that $20,000 went. That went to a group that, uh, I'm trying to think of the name, excuse me, um, can you recall the name? I'm not sure we didn't get a name. After battling a deficit for several years now and having to cut programs and jobs, the University of Idaho says they have good footing financially now. The sturgeon was hooked. Immediately, the fish started stripping out lines in almost all 300 yards worth. What was once an active scene on the University of Idaho campus has become a ghost town in the shadow of COVID-19. Greek Row has been eerily quiet for close to a year now, something that every chapter hopes will change soon. This is the COVID-19 positivity rate in Latok County from March 3rd to April 3rd. You can see we started with 16 cases on March 3rd. We slowly dwindled down April 3rd, zero cases reported. Something to note, there are zero cases reported on the scale. That's because the health district did not report those cases during the weekend. The light is now up and running in full color, giving people some hope during these times. John Webb, Silver Valley News.